Tonight, it's crunch time for John. You know, he works so hard all week, and it's that 10 seconds on the scale that determines how good your week was, how bad your week was, you know. And our leaders put their newfound fitness to the test. Don't get off the treadmill with any regrets. This is Operation Transformation. You can follow Operation Transformation online at rte.ie forward slash OT. On radio with RTE Radio 1 and 2FM. And you can join me, Catherine Thomas, here every Wednesday and Thursday night. For seven weeks, our leaders have been living in the spotlight as they transform their health. But they're not alone, with over 32,000 of you now weighing in for our million pound challenge. And so far, we've lost over 300 pounds. And once a leader, always a leader. I'm Adrian Broughton, and I'm weighing in for a million pound challenge. I started in 2011, 21 and a half stone. Not able to get up off the chair, not able to walk upstairs. Five years on, I'm 15 stone seven, six stone gone. Operation Transformation, it's hard to explain how much it has changed my life. I probably would not be here only for Operation Transformation. The OT circus might have moved on, but Ringmaster Adrian is still cracking the whip. When I started with Adrian five years ago, I was almost five stone heavier. I size 20 clothes wasn't fit me, so it was kind of the, the kick that I needed. And the limelight still loves Adrian. He's even taken to the airwaves in Eden Derry to lead his community towards our million pound goal. The best exercise is the free exercise, what we do every day. We've our own Operation Transformation programme every Saturday, every Sunday morning. We're on for an hour. We've the whole community texting up, asking me loads of questions. The only thing is, I tell them the truth. I tell them what's good, what's bad, and it's great crack. And the mighty crack is leading to even mightier results. Together we have lost over 20 pounds. Yeah! We're from Wishes, Wishes in Eden Dairy, and, and we've lost, lost 12 pounds. <laughs> <laughs> I'm Sophie, I've lost seven and three quarter pounds. I'm Audrey, and I've lost nine pounds. She's not telling the I'm truth. telling the truth. Well, there's no disputing that the pounds are adding up. Eden Dairy has lost 451 pounds. Yeah! So I'm just saying, come on, Audrey, keep it going. With groups like Eden Dairy doing their bit, County Offaly is weighing in with a respectable 1,173 pounds. But they're still a long way behind their neighbours in Kildare with £3,747. While the rivalry may be heating up, together Ireland has now lost over £67,000. Brilliant. And a big well done to OT Kilshima in County Mayo for logging our biggest weight loss so far, a whopping £1,568. We never, ever thought that that would be possible, that we, Kelchma, would do that. Um, yes, we all wanted to, to do something to better ourselves and to get healthier ourselves, but we never thought we'd have the results we have had. The town has even nominated its own leaders, each of whom has their band of very devoted followers. You can see I have my, my team hat on, which all my members have. Hi, I'm on a big town's team and I've lost 18 pounds. You name it, everybody's behind us all. The boss is mental, it's crazy. Oh, it's where we were actually on the TV show, the way people are treating us here in the town, do you know? We're on Jerry's team, and I have lost two stone. My team together have lost £117, which is fantastic. I have lost £10. <laughs> I hadn't yeah. as much to lose as him. <laughs> <laughs> There's only ten. My motto is God power. If Kalchma is a population of 1,500 people, if we can make 112 stone in just a short few weeks, everyone can. There is no reason why everyone cannot jump on the bandwagon, get on it, and Ireland will lose the million pounds. There's no doubt about it. From Eden Derry to Kilchima and beyond. Well done, everyone. Now let's keep it going. You can log your weight loss at rte.ie forward slash OT or call into your local pharmacy to make your weight loss count towards the million pound challenge. Together, we can make this happen. Losing a million never felt this good. In a devastating result last week, John actually gained weight. After that upsetting and unexpected outcome, the experts decided that crisis intervention was called for. In an effort to get John back on track, this week Dr Eddie visits for an intensive session. John, obviously I came down, we were very worried about you. You were, you were so upset at the weigh-in. Where, where are you now? Where do you think you are now? Yeah, uh, she was disappointed. Now, um, no, low not hit me target, but actually putting weight up. It was, uh, yeah, very deflating. But you were a man under pressure. That's what really came out. Yeah, um, yourself and Dr. Kira, both he kind of, you know, probably probed a little. Questions that probably did touch a nerve. Probably it dawned on me as well that there's something just not right here and there's something holding me back. What do you think the main stumbling blocks are, John? Stress will be a huge thing. It has become a huge thing in my life. It's the biggest negative in my life, mm. um, without a shadow of a doubt. Yeah, it just kind of festers away there, doesn't it? And but when it comes to stress, I mean, I think you have two options. One is you change the situation or you change how you think about the situation? I mean, the main thing that's causing all the stress in life at the minute is my um, a few issues with um, 
was revenue it made a run with business without any bank loans or without any overdraft, which I'm quite proud of. But revenue had me under severe pressure. And because of an old debt there from a previous business, you know, the whole lot's been lumped into one now and they've come back with a debt that is just totally unmanageable. You know, I'm in danger of losing my business. I'm in danger of losing my home. Um, mm. So that stress is Massive. humongous. And I think a lot of people resonate with this, John. Yeah. There are a lot of people carrying a lot of debt and a lot of debt stress. It's toxic. At the moment, you can't see an end point in no. this. Yeah. It's so difficult because um, that suggests then there's no control. No, no, but sorry. the question then is, are there other parts of your life that you can take control over? Your health, the relationships with, you know, your people around you that you love so that you're able to grab onto something and say, I'm going this well. Yeah, because, you know, as I said, at the end of the day, this is all about Amber and being around for her. I've wanted to get She is the prize at the end of it, like, yeah. you know, and to be there for her. I probably start the journey saying, OK, I'm going to lose weight. That's well and very well and good. But like, you I mean, this the whole OT journey has showed up so much more, mm. you know? It showed up, you know, what's deep inside me that, you know, has been buried for years, you know? And I just need to let that out, you know? One way for John to deal with his stress load is through exercise. And now Carl answers the call to Bell Mullet. So John, straight away, one thing is your posture. Currently, you're walking like this. Right, okay. Oh, right, about there. Uh, That's where your posture should be. Uh, give me a count, count. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Whoa, we're getting there. We can take it faster again. Long strides. Uh, give me a count, count. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Good. That's and a breath. Do one, two, three. Give me 100%, then I'll start. That's a hundred there. Good. One. Good. And suddenly, shades of another side of John start to emerge. John's resistance session turned to something different altogether. It was tapping into the old competitive John that I've never seen in operational transformation. That's been there, but buried for such a long time. But today, we tapped into it. It's really good. This is great. Three, two, one, go for it. I thought I was at it. I thought I was up there and everything else was only when he shows in. I'm just at point this week six. I'm learning these things. If this is week one, I've got over 14 stone now. It's all at this point, there's only two weeks left to come to an end. You'd love to go down forever type thing, you know? Look, they've given us the tools to um, deal with our situations, be it the stress, be it the exercise, be it the diet, be it the medicine. So it's a fool that wouldn't take it on board. Thank you, you're gonna get a hold for that. <laughs> no, brilliant, absolutely brilliant. Thanks a lot. With the experts addressing his head and body, John can take time to focus on his number one priority and the whole reason for his OT journey. And with the go ahead from Aoife, for one day only, pancakes are on the OT plan. <laughs> Super. Yeah, we do such good fun together, like, you know, we have such good fun. Mm. Munchkin. That's just lovely. That's just quality time, you know. It's, you know, nothing replaces that. You got a friend, isn't it? But will John have a friend in the scales this week? Good luck. All right, John, last week you were 20 stone, 10 and a half pounds. Your target was to lose two pounds. And today you weigh 20 stone. Ben That is a weight loss of three and a half pounds. You did it. Well done, you. Oh. Well done, John. That's great. I suppose what really came out this week was maybe the amount of stress that you're under. And when people are chronically stressed, your body will produce different hormones that actually want you to preserve fat. So it's almost similar to lack of sleep that when you're chronically stressed, it is more difficult to lose weight. So definitely managing that stress is something that's really, really important. A lot of people are in negative equity. A lot of people have car are carrying debts forward. And what you've shown is that if you acknowledge it, open up, you're then able to make a change. That's the starting point. And it's almost like week seven, it's your starting point. Because up to then, all we heard was work, work, work. And you were so stressed, you couldn't hear what was going on around you. Yeah. And I think that coming up to Dublin, uh, getting a break away from actually this work, you've had an opportunity to figure out, well, okay, there's a bit of life here beyond 17 hours behind the stove. You know, you work so hard all week and it's that 10 seconds on the scale that determines how good your week was, how bad your week was, you know? So, yeah, happy man. You can follow John's food and fitness plans on our website. And don't forget to join us for the Nationwide 5K this Saturday at a park run near you. As always, we're making shopping for Operation Transformation easy. From lunches on the go to weekly shops. Dunn Stores, Super Value, Eurospar, Centra, Cost Cutter and Nace have you covered. After the break, Nolene shall go to the ball. You and our mystery man are going to be going out on your date tonight. <laughs> Sorry, could someone say tonight? But first, a challenge for you at home. Tonight's challenge is a tricep dip. Feet out in front, hands either side of the hips, backs nice and straight, all the way down and all the way up. You ready? Okay, three, two and go. As many as you can between now and part two. Come on, up you get. 
Can you feel the porn, Maura? Oh, come on, that means we're doing your fries. Keep going, though. Come on, um, up, down, My thighs and arms are sore. This better work, Maura. You're, you've this got is the move. longest. This is the longest ad break ever. That must be these three minutes, is it? But you know what? We're over halfway there. Keep going, everyone. Oh, at home. my God. Sore. We can do it. Pain. We can do it. Three, two, and one. Up you come. It's great work. Well done. This is the year for change. Live the happy and healthy life that you've dreamed of. It's your move. Last week, for the first time in the whole series, Nolene didn't meet her target. It's a moment she's anxious to put behind her. Regardless of what anybody says, it, you're remembered for how you finish, not for how you start. Determined to finish with a flourish, Nolene has enlisted her colleague, Miss Murphy, to help her go that extra mile with an intensive series of sprints in the PE hall. So push yourself and you can do it. OK, OK, OK. Once I got started, I said, no matter what, I'm going to finish. If there were to be 10 sets of it. Evan, come on, first and back, first and back, come on. I'm going to do the 10. 10, 10 seconds back. The worst in car. Sorry. <laughs> you really say to yourself, look, I, I pulled a fire truck. I can run up and down the hall a couple of times. <laughs> done. Woo and there's no doubt she's pushed herself to her limit. Uh, over the limit, in fact. <laughs> Thank you for making me throw up. <laughs> If you go down in the woods today, you're sure of a big surprise. If you and it looks as if Nolene isn't the only woman on a mission in Baconstown National School. Miss Nolene, could you please come to the GP hall? Miss Nolene, to the hall. Thank you. Uh-oh, looks like this teacher is late for assembly. This is from the staff and from everybody in Baconstown. I've been totally overwhelmed by just the support and the good wishes from everyone in the school, from my colleagues to the children to the parents. Snowling's an inspirational leader and she showed great courage to lead Bacon Centre through Operation Transformation. Oh, thank you, Christopher. Now, now I'm going to cry. I applied for Operation Transformation for myself, but I do see that it has a much more far-reaching effect. I hope that you remember what we learned about healthy eating and about exercise. And if that's the only thing you bring with you from Baconstown School, well, I think we will we'll have done a pretty good job with you. Nolene's been waiting for news on the blind date that Jenny Cupid Kelly is setting her up on. And to get her in the mood, Nolene turns up the heat with a salsa lesson. All my friends were saying, well, what's happening with the Ray Darcy show and your date? And all I could say was, you know as much as I do. Now I'm feeling the pressure today, I have to say. You're feeling the pressure. <laughs> but a really, really busy week talking to a good few eligible men out there who were looking to date you. So I kept going back to one person. I'm going to call him your man of mystery. Can I ask what age he is? He is around your age. <laughs> OK. <laughs> Give or take a few. <laughs> you and our mystery man are going to be going out on your date tonight. <laughs> Sorry, did someone say tonight? Don't worry, I'm going to be phoning you tomorrow anyway to get the dirt. I mean, I mean, to see how <laughs> fabulous the date went. That's what I meant. Yeah. It's very exciting. Good luck, Nolly. Enjoy yourself. Yes, I am. Obviously nervous and excited. But I think the fact that Jenny sounded so positive about it, I kind of going, oh yeah, you know, it'll be good. Nolene's mystery man is waiting for her at the Cliff Town House restaurant in Dublin. And Cinderella is on her way in her carriage. I'm off to the ball. <laughs> to meet me fella. <laughs> to meet me fella. As a chipper. Hope I don't lose me slipper. <laughs> Nolene's potential Prince Charming is a little camera shy. So we leave these two on their own. This is where I say goodbye to the camera and um, see you again. Home before midnight now, Nolene. Goodbye to everyone. Will Nolene get lucky on the scales? How are you doing? Not too bad. Well, I am dying to know. Well, how did the date go? Um, the uh, restaurant was fabulous and he was perfect Ooh. for someone else. Oh. Uh, <laughs> I mean, a very pleasant evening and so on, but we just didn't click. But I suppose, has it opened you up to the possibility of maybe more dates? Oh, absolutely, yes. Okay. Yes, yeah. Maybe I might choose them myself. <laughs> oh, Cupid <laughs> Kelly. Sorry. She might have lost her touch. <laughs> <laughs> All right. It is time to talk numbers. Are you ready? Yes. Good luck. OK, Nolene, last week you were 10 stone 13 pounds. Your target was to lose one pound. And today you weigh 10 stone 12 pounds. <laughs> that is a loss on one pound. That's <laughs> What a great week. After a tough week last week, straight back on track, putting it into action, doing it, done, target hit. Brilliant. Thank you.
you continue to inspire women all around the country. And Nolan, I think any man that ever gets his hands on you is very lucky indeed. <laughs> well done, you're a credit to yourself. The fact that if I lose even half a pound, then I've got a full stone off, is going to egg me on to do even better. And if you're following Nolene, then go to rte.ie forward slash OT to access her food and fitness plan. The leaders have been put through the mill over the last seven weeks, but they still have one last physical challenge remaining when they lead the nation on the 5K runs this weekend. But with only days left to go, the question is, are they ready? Seven weeks ago, when they attended the DCU School of Health and Human Performance, the idea of completing a 5K run seemed little more than a dream after Professor Niall Moyna's fitness tests revealed some shocking results. The leaders are the poorest we've probably had in the history of Operation Transformation. 46.5% of your body is fat. There's certainly room for improvement. You true, yeah. 99% of women your age have a higher fitness level. That's disappointing. For John, the news was even worse, as an irregular heartbeat was detected during his tests. I think the best course of action is to go and see a cardiologist. It's extremely serious. It's extremely serious. This week, they're back. But after just seven weeks on the OT plan, how much improvement can really have taken place? Those who put in the biggest effort will probably see the biggest change. Once you step on that treadmill, I mean, there's no place to hide. We're going to repeat the DEXA test. This, this is the, the, where it scans the body and measures the amount of fat and the amount of lean muscle tissue. When a measure was called a VO2 max, again, this will involve exercising hooked up to a, a mouthpiece with an ECG. Don't get off the treadmill with any regrets. Now you've got to push. Close the eyes and just push. Come on, keep it going, keep it going, keep it going. Come on, push it, give me 10 seconds. Come on, push, 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 push. Thank you, Come on, right. We're nearly there, we're nearly there. We're going to count you down now. Three, two, one, and stop. On. Okay, that's good. <laughs> and the results are amazing. Brilliant, well done. All the leaders have shown a huge decrease in body fat and substantial increases in their fitness levels. You've absolutely transformed yourself. Your fitness level has improved by over 50% and you now rank in the top 25% for your age. My head and my body was, you know, it wasn't in it and I've turned it around completely in that much time. You have lost 16% body fat, now moving in to the normal weight category. I am absolutely over the moon. And your strength scores put you in the top 5%, so you have excellent strength, so congratulations and well done. And for John, finally, there's some reassuring news. You know, you've got your heart rhythm under control again, which is very, very important. You have decreased your percent body fat by 12%. Now, for someone who has type 2 diabetes, that's going to have a tremendously positive impact on your overall health. That's huge. That'll drive you on, like, you know, big time. Big time. Obviously, they were the unhealthiest leaders that we've ever had on Operation Transformation, and it's great to see that they've all demonstrated significant improvements. So all in all, I'm absolutely delighted. Nothing can stop our leaders now. This Saturday, they line out with the rest of the country for the event we've all been waiting for, the Operation Transformation 5K Fun Run. For the first time ever, this country will run together in over 40 locations nationwide. 2FM will be cheering you on all the way, so get ready to run. Registration for the Phoenix Park is now full, but everyone in the country can still take part in Operation Transformation's most ambitious 5K run ever. Log on to rte.ie forward slash OT to register for your local park run. Select Operation Transformation 2016 as your club and print your barcode. Together, we can make Operation Transformation the world's biggest park run club. And we can make history this Saturday with the largest number of people running and walking ever in this country. And people know, hail, rain or shine, they're going to come into the park and it's going to happen. Big push on to have the national 5K and as many people as possible running. So everybody just get out and do this 5K on the 20th of February. This is the day the nation runs together. We'll see you at the start line. And for more tips and tricks on shaping up, check out rte.ie forward slash OT. Later tonight, David McCullough and guests to ask whether our politicians are a true reflection of the people with PT Extra at 11.15 here on RTE1.